Hi there, Rob Hart from RS Performance here. We've got a short session on strength and flexibility for you guys to complete today. Hope that is enjoyable and I hope we get something out of it. That will tee us up quite nicely for the very start of our run club. We're also going to have a, a chat with um, two or three of our young athletes regarding the programme during lockdown. So, whilst we get set up, whilst we get Dan and Liam ready for the session, we're going to leave you with Logan, one of our young athletes, who's going to take you through his experiences so far. Hi, my name's Logan, and I've been taking part in the RS Performance Programme for over a year and a half now. How has the RS Performance Programme helped you during lockdown? Uh, it's helped me stay active with the Zoom classes, that's every day doing strength and conditioning, plyometric stuff, and they've set challenges out with that. So like run 5k in three days, keep us active outside that. For when we go back to our club football, we'll be in good shape, ready to start a new season. Uh, and it's also fun after Zoom classes when we're doing our challenges. You know, you get to have a laugh with the boys, and it's a really good environment. And we're ready to start warm up minute one. Exercise one in the warm up, jumping jacks. As we can see, Daniel working himself through the jumping jacks, nice timing with the arms going out and the feet going out at the same time and coming back in together. Thirty seconds. Keep the movement going. Remember to breathe. Relax and enjoy the fresh air, guys. Fifteen seconds. When the alarm goes, we will change to running on the spot. DPS passing us there again, there we go. And change, running on the spot. With the arms going with the knees as well, that's it. Opposite elbow, opposite knee if we can. If we get the coordination to go with it, that would be great. Let's keep up the effort folks, we're doing really really well, we're doing magnificent through this so far, we're nearly into our third set of the warm up, third exercise of the warm up I should say, 10 seconds left, keep the arms going and that's it, and time with the legs, opposite elbow, opposite knee, good, and it's sideies to go next, okay, sideies next. Great, so we go three steps to the left, down to touch the left foot to the ground, and then repeat to the right. Lean into the bounce, there we go. Good. Our heels don't click at any point, our heels don't meet. Okay. We move quickly enough across the ground, and our heels do not meet in the middle. Should not hear that clicking sound, guys. Good effort. Fantastic. Part of the simpleness of the programme is it can be completed within such a small area of your garden, it can be completed indoors. 10 seconds Daniel, and we're going to change to... Twisties. Sorry about the pause there. And change, twisties.
Great effort, folks. We should be breathing a little bit heavier now. We should feel a little bit more like it's just above the walk in the park in terms of our effort levels. Might even begin to sweat a wee bit. Fantastic, Daniel. Keep the effort up, pal. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, then we're going to rest for 30 seconds and we're going to start the very first exercise of the session. And relax there, Dan. Whilst you rest, get your breath back and grab yourself a drink of water. We're going to have a quick chat with Joe, well, another one of our athletes. Hi, my name is Joe and I've been taking part in the RS Online programme for the past three weeks. It's helped me to keep fit and gave me a structure to each day. My favourite session is the strength and conditioning because after it will normally do a football related challenge. And now, the bear crawl or the beast. Gentle lift right foot off the floor, then left foot, right arm, left arm.
going to the RX performance uh, iPhone screen. All right, move on. Thank you. See ya. Can you see that and see this? Fantastic guys, well done, great session, thanks Dan and thanks to Leon for taking part in that strength and flexibility session which hopefully leads us very nicely into starting off the run club for the weekend. So I'm going to leave you with Michael, another one of our um, athletes who is going to talk to you a little bit about his experience of using the run club um, as part of his routine and as a part of, of a way to develop his performance when the season restarts. Hi, I'm Michael and I've been doing the RS Run Club. It's helped me stay fit over the lockdown and whenever I go on a run I've got something to aim for. It's good because you can see how everyone else in the club is doing as well. At RS, we felt that lockdown presented an opportunity to help our athletes develop their speed endurance. Football is, after all, a running sport. So far, our athletes have helped support and motivate each other through the development of their speed endurance, which ultimately, we hope, will allow them to develop their performance once the season re begins. The aims of the running challenge. One, to help our athletes engage with other athletes during the lockdown. Two, to keep, keep our performers active whilst engaging them in the sport and training, thus helping them develop their metabolic fitness. How the run challenge works, our performers are given a distance to cover each week. For example, 5 kilometers. They are then set the chance to run that 5k as fast as they can. The athletes are given advice as to run over a planned route, and that route should be relatively short, i.e. 1.5 to 2 or 2.5 kilometers at a time. Each athlete then downloads a version, free version of Strava, and runs are recorded via that. We have set up a run club on Strava so that each performer can join. This has created a space um, to incubate our performance culture within the group. The athletes can support each other and see each other's progress as we go, and we get to review the results and, when required, offer some insight to help them progress their runs.